Hello and welcome to A Wheel Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole. This is the Nissan Qashqai, it's the ST, that's the entry lever model for the range. The Nissan Qashqai ST, this is the entry lever model powered by a 2 litre engine, there's 103, 106 kilowatts, 200 newton metres available and it drives a stepless or continuously variable transmission. It's the, uh, the entry level to the range of the Qashqai and it comes with a few handy features on the inside and actually turns out to be not a bad car to drive overall. Price? Around $26,500. There's more than enough room in the, the back seat for four people. Oh, I should say, well, four in total, but three across. Maybe even two just to be on the, uh, the comfortable side. But as you can see, look, there is plenty of leg room and no problems in that respect. Quite a capacious boot, holds a week's worth of family shopping, absolutely no problems whatsoever. And of course, underneath, like so many people do now, a uh, temporary or a space saver spare. But at the end of the day, it's really not all that common anymore to cop a flat tyre. I've only had maybe two in the last 15 years, which I guess is a touchwood situation. The inside's comfortable enough. It's got enough little uh, highlights. For example, this little bit of silver here on the steering wheel or across there on the, uh, the air vents. Nice, simple to read dashboard. It's got um, a little bit of information available through here via the uh, steering wheel tabs like everyone has. The only thing that really probably lets down the interior as such is this rather um, average looking screen. The touch screen itself is easy to use but it just looks quite boring and if that's a, a negative in the context of what a car should look like then it's really not that much after all but it just probably could look a little bit more exciting. What is cool though is this uh, little camera switch here. So if we hit that it actually brings up a, uh, a reverse camera so if you're looking at your left hand side as you're reversing or uh, potentially even going forward it stops you from scraping the wheels on the curves or, or anything like that and in an entry level model car that's quite a surprise to see get the Qashqai SC out on the road and it performs pretty well give it a little bit of a hoof from the line and you can feel it get to about 3000 rpm and then the whole nature of the car changes it really gets up and ramps away uh, it's quite an unusual experience to feel in a, a CVT and it's a fairly well sorted CVT there is a couple of niggles though at uh, freeway speeds around 80 to 100 k's and just sort of idling along and not really pressing accelerate or anything you can feel the car just surging backwards and forth momentarily and there's a little bit of a flicker in the taco to say that uh, the engine is sort of trying to get itself into the right piece of groove handling and ride are quite comfortable it's a little bit sort of road noisy on the the harsher tarmacs but as an overall driving package for an entry level car at around 26 and a half grand it's more than competent that's for sure nice to be back with nissan this turned out to be quite an enjoyable car to drive plenty of room a couple of surprisingly good little features that uh, touch screen though just does need a little bit of a lift but as a car to drive it's got some verve some pep some zip all those kind of words and for twenty six and a half thousand dollars i think it's priced pretty decently for a Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.